Hey, what's up everybody? Andrew Wall here. How you doing creators? I have been making this video series on the BBTV Network channel recently. I did a recent series on how the YouTube algorithm works and I've received just so many inquiries from YouTubers of all sizes, starting out big YouTubers, millions of subscribers, a thousand subscribers, asking me about how subscribers work and how to best access subscribers, keep your subscribers, be able to actually have those subscribers see your video in the 2018 YouTube algorithm. It's not like it used to be, as I summarize in this video. There's a link below to that video if you wanna watch the full breakdown, but essentially, it's not like it used to be. When you subscribe to a YouTube channel, you don't see a chronological feed of all of the channels you subscribe to and all of the videos that they released. That's just not how it is anymore. Instead, uh, the way that uh, videos are served to subscribers is based on those subscribers' user behavior. And generally speaking, you're gonna want to release a similar type of content with a similar type of format with a similar uh, subjects as often as possible on your YouTube channel so that when you get subscribers, the algorithm sees their behavior. They're probably gonna watch your type of content because you make essentially one type of content. And so when people sub, they actually see your videos when they sub to see your content. Pretty simple. The algorithm's designed to reward user behavior, not a chronological feed. Anyway, full breakdown below. The point of this is to answer a question, a question, one of the questions I've been getting on Twitter. And if you wanna ask your own questions, follow me on Twitter, link below, at A-W-A-L-L-V-S. I will answer your questions, YouTubers, for free. I've done this for a living for the last seven years. I've built one of the biggest video networks in the world, and I'm happy to help you. I do this because I love it. And M and JTV, a pretty big YouTube channel, was asking me questions about their content strategy. They've got 300 and, uh, I'm sorry, 637,000 subscribers on their channel. Really good traction here. Like an average of 270K uh, views per video. Good job. 147 million views historically on 677 videos. Amazing. Only getting about 1.4 million views per month. I mean, I'm scoff. I'm not. I'm not scoffing at that. I'm just saying it's a little bit low, uh, and it could be much higher. And that might be why they're talking with me and asking me questions about how to access subscribers. Uh, a channel like this, with this kind of history and this type of trust, with Pokemon uh, search terms and Pokemon uh, audience, could be getting more. So here's the question I got on Twitter from this particular YouTuber: um, How specific does the categorization get? do you think? So they're saying that their channel is entirely Pokemon content, that's good that you've narrowed down on Pokemon, but do both top 10s and Let's Plays and other things count as different categories? So what they're referring to is the idea that the more categories of content that you have on your channel, the less YouTube will be able to identify what those subscribers that have subscribed will want to watch. So if on your channel you've released, let's say M and J TV released Pokemon videos and uh, they released Zelda videos and they released Call of Duty videos, people would be subscribing for different types of games, right? And so in this case, they've narrowed it down from the general gaming category down to Pokemon, more specifically Pokemon games, and then within Pokemon games, individual games and focusing from there. That's good. I think that your focus just on Pokemon video games is narrow enough overall, no problem. And that allows you to cover upcoming games and also classic nostalgia type content. You're in a nice position where you can uh, just cover Pokemon uh, gaming as a kind of franchise. That has a, probably a future for the next 10 years, so you're in a pretty good spot for that reason. But the question that you're asking is more specific than that. Uh, is you doing, say, top 10 videos like this, you know, top 10 most useful Pokemon in real life video, which, by the way, very high quality. I like your on-camera and your editing as well. Uh, you have these top 10s here. You also have these Let's Play videos on your channel, these 30-minute Let's Plays. It's more of a traditional Let's Play video. You just record for 30 minutes, you're playing the game, you're talking directly to the audience, uh, it's, you know, chronological order, episode 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, into infinity, traditional let's play. But then you also have this kind of third category of content here, which is your live streams. Your live streams are getting traction right now, but that's yet another category. That's three categories of content. So you have your subscriber goals here, you're getting sponsors here. It seems that you're very successful in getting sponsors, but there's an even fourth category of content on this channel, uh, which is this like Pokemon talk. 
and it's kind of like these chats uh, that involve uh, basically these plushies and it's more of a creative type of um, creative piece of content that you're doing on your channel. I won't go into detail. The point is, for everybody else watching this video as well, this YouTuber is covering Pokemon gaming as a category, which has been narrowed down for gaming. Then they have four types of content, kind of, not four, four types of content underneath that uh, that they're breaking out. So the question that they're asking me here on Twitter is, should I eliminate, perhaps, uh, different types of content? That was the next question that they gave me, uh, was, uh, thanks, should I alter my content to better suit the algorithm based on my talk? And the answer to that question is, mul there's multiple ways to answer that question. So here's the first part that you should look at. Are certain types of content on your channel, out of those four types, doing better than the others, significantly better? So when I look down your feed here, your Let's Play videos are getting about 30 to 40K views. Your live streams are getting about 30 to 50K views. It's about the same. Your Let's Plays and your live streams are performing about the game, 30 to 50k views. Cool. Now, your Pokemon Talk series, this on a regular basis, is getting uh, over 100,000 views, 150k, uh, pretty regularly. It's a very, very successful video series. And as I look through the f uh, your videos as well, I'm seeing that your top, uh, your top X videos, your list videos, get 150, 200k views. Sometimes here's top Pokemon uh, right here. Also, I saw another list video as I was looking through uh, that uh, top 20 shocking Pokemon facts. And look at these Pokemon talk videos getting 200k views plus. So out of your four different types of content that you have on your channel, and listen up YouTubers, this advice applies to all YouTubers. You've got four types of content, two of your formats, your list videos, as well as your Pokemon talk videos, are performing anywhere between three to five times better than your other two types of content, your Let's Plays and your live streams. So if I were to give you advice, I would tell you that your Let's Plays are actually holding your channel's performance back. Your Let's Plays are not racking up as many views and as many, um, well, more importantly, as many minutes watched as your live streams. Your 30 minute let's plays versus your three hour live streams, your th even if they both get 36K views in this example, you see 36K views on this live stream, oopsie, 36K views on this live stream versus 36, 36K views on this let's play versus 36K views on this live stream. This live stream that's three hours versus 30 minutes is potentially going to have maybe five to six time more minutes watched. As you know, minutes watched is the most important metric on YouTube right now, okay? Also, your live streams are getting you sponsors on your channel, which as you know, with adpocalypse or demonetization or whatever you wanna call it, getting donations and getting sponsors is what you need as a YouTuber to be financially stable today, whereas your Let's Plays really aren't doing that. So, out of your four types of content, M and J TV, I'm gonna tell you, you need to stop doing Let's Play content on your channel. That would be like algorithmically, this Let's Play content that you're doing, these 30 minutes, le 30 minute Let's Plays are hurting the performance of your channel. You're delivering these to your subscribers over and over and over again. They're getting way less traction than your other types of content, your list content, as well as your Pokemon talk content, and it's hurting your channel. Your opening sessions, and a lot of people aren't clicking on those videos and it's hurting the performance of your other rock star content on your channel. I would say moving forward, do lists, do Pokemon talk, and do live streams exclusively. And your channel will grow in views. I think that you could easily go to two to three million views per month if you do that. And if you're focusing more on live streaming, like say doing a daily live stream, you'll get a lot more sponsors you'll get a lot more donations, and you'll get a lot more minutes watched, and you'll probably have a better connection with your audience because you're talking directly to them even more often. That's my advice for this YouTuber. This advice could also work for you. Go ahead and hit me up on Twitter if you wanna ask me questions about YouTube and the YouTube algorithm. I'm here to help. Uh, I do this for a living, and I'm gonna do this here on my personal channel and my personal avenues as well, because I wanna help small YouTubers, mid-sized YouTubers, big YouTubers become successful, uh, because that's what I'm passionate about. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more, enable notifications, and uh, 
yeah, let me know if you want to see more of this type of content. I'm here to help, but I only know if you want my help. If you hit me up in the comments, if you give me likes, and if you sub, that lets me know that this content's actually valuable. 